Divine Faith 26. Now, Methuselah lived 969 years. And there's one thing which is gained from a life which has lived for nine and a half centuries, and that is experience. Now, as you go along in life, you tend to get um, good times and bad times. And there's times where you learn lessons. You learn lessons about what works and what doesn't work. And about behaviors which sort of are better for you and behaviors which in the end you have to let go of. You've got to learn to chisel those sins away from your nature. That's what religious people, spiritual people, biblical people are supposed to do. Carite faith people are supposed to chisel out the sin out of us. Chisel out the behaviors which sometimes could be from our blood our bloodlines brought down to us, the sins of our father. These things really need to be chiseled out of us and turned away from. And in a long life, an experienced life, a faith which has, a, a life which has faith in divine things, which has faith in God, a divine faith, you're supposed to act on that faith regularly enough and do the works. You know, it's not just enjoying your privilege as a son and daughter of God, son or daughter of God, and your exalted status, thinking, aren't I wonderful? There's a reason you're a son of God. There's a reason you're a daughter of God, because you do the works required. You do the things which someone who claims to be a monotheist is supposed to do. You keep the faith, you do the works, you attempt to be righteous like Noah. It doesn't mean you're going to be perfect. Few and far between have really got to that sort of level of things. But it does mean you put an effort in, and with experience, you're supposed to learn how to get better at it and improve things. A point to life is maturity, and with long life, like Methuselah had, you learn to be more mature as time passes by and deal with situations and issues in a more responsible and adult way. So, you know, walking with God over the long haul is about learning the lessons which experience will teach you and becoming a better person. That's a big part of divine faith.